But see in verse 1, verse 1, the Lord spoke to Moses and said, I am giving you this land. I need y'all to get this. If God is giving you the land, then that means no matter what you see, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. It's yours because what God says is yours. I don't care what anybody else got to say. It's yours. I don't care what the bank says. What God says is yours. It is yours. Now, please understand. We got to operate a good stewardship. We got to have good credit. We got to pay our bills and all that kind of stuff. But see, God sometimes will overcome bills. He will overcome. He can. He can. He can do it. He can do it. I've seen him do it. He will do it. Joshua and Caleb uh, understood that if God was giving them the land, they were going to have it no matter what. That's why they affirmed in their spirit in verse 30. The first verse we read in our passage today, in our text today. Then Caleb said, let's go get it. Let's go get it right now. Because the Lord said we can take it. So let's go get it right now. I mean, I mean, I mean it was like, I mean, I'm telling, let's go get it right now. We I mean, we ought to get a bulldog to ask me about this thing, about the things of God and say, if you say it's mine, God, let's go get it right now. If the Lord sent us out here, let's go, let's go get it, let's go get it, let's go get it. Right now. And Caleb and Joshua so, were so confident. They said, you know what they said? They are praying. God, it's like, it's like they understood God had put the enemy on a platter mm -hmm. like a plate of biscuits. When was the last time a biscuit ever fought you back when you was trying to bite it? Y'all, let me ask y'all that question because some of y'all missed it. When you bit down into a biscuit, did the biscuit fight you as he, as you was biting down on or did the biscuit, because see, a biscuit can't move. See, the biscuit is defenseless against your body. I need you to, I need you to hear. The biscuit is defenseless against your body. Oh my God. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all yeah, still ain't got it. Y'all still ain't got it. <laughs> See, God put the enemy on a platter. As food. As food. <laughs> and this is point number two. They trusted in the promise of God. They trusted in the promise of God. God said, mm, yeah. whether I believe it or not, that settles it. <laughs> but see, since God says it, that demands belief. So the second step, I don't even have to do per se. I don't have to say it because when God says a thing, he demands belief in a thing that he said. That's shown in the phrase, they are our bread. See, they were they, they tore their clothes because the folk didn't have didn't had a right response. God has prepared them, put them on a platter like biscuits for us to eat. They are our bread. We're gonna gobble them up like a sandwich. Of five dollar, five dollar foot long. <laughs> Mm, Jesus, uh, oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. This meant that these people were, these people, these people weren't going to be able to put up a fight. When, when, when God licks your enemies, they can't fight you. They might look bigger than you, might be whiter than you, or blacker than you, or, or taller than you, or shorter than you, might have more money than you, might have more influence than you, but I tell you, they can't you because ain't nothing but a plate of biscuits. Ain't nothing but a plate of biscuits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Last thing, last thing, last thing, last thing. Number three. They trusted in the providence of God. In the word providence is what the word provide, right? In the, in the word prophet, don't you see P R O V I D E? What that word providence means God orchestrates things for your provision. God hooks things up for you to get your provision. Okay? Uh, see, this is shown in the phrase their protection was departed from them. Okay? See, what God did 
was that no matter how big the adversaries were, God fixed it so his people would win. Because what